Hi, I'm Colin with Common Coffee Drinker. This is the 64 Parishes of Coffee. For this episode, we are in... Tangipahoa Parish. So, where are we going this time? <laughs> this time, we are going to Tangipahoa Parish. Can you repeat that? Can, I'm sorry, can you repeat that word? Just, just we are going to Tangipahoa. Tangipahoa. <laughs> with a P, not a V. Um, it is one of the Florida parishes. If you remember from the last time, we went to Livingston Parish. Uh, it's just a couple over from there. It's a pretty large parish. There's really two big cities. I don't want to say big cities. There's one big city and one smaller city. Uh, the big city is Hammond, the smaller city is Ponchatoula. Okay, so what coffee houses are we going to? We are going to three different uh, coffee houses slash coffee shops slash cafes. Uh, the first is, well I can't say the first, I don't know which one we're actually going to first, but... I do. Is, oh, you do? Yeah. Which one is it? Uh, it starts with a yellow and ends in a bird. Yellow bird! <laughs> Yellow Bird Cafe, I think is what it is. Yeah. Um, there's one called Stowaway. Stowaway. Yes, Stowaway. House, yeah. I think. Yeah. And then Courtyard Cafe. So, Colin, wh what are we doing? So we tried to go to Yellow Bird Cafe. Uh, we walked in, and it was like just people everywhere. Every seat was taken. Uh, it was also not a coffee shop. It was very much more of a diner, which is fine. But we didn't know if there were people seating us or if we go get a seat and then there's a waiter or you go up to a counter. There was no indication of like whatsoever what you were supposed to do. Uh, so we decided, look, let's not go to Yellow Bird Cafe because it's not even, I don't even think they had like any kind of, coffee drink other than just plain black coffee it was one of those kind of cafes uh, so we're gonna try to get some food somewhere else downtown and hit up the other two cafes and hope for better luck so Colin where are we so we were walking um, looking for a place to eat after Yellowbird uh, was not the place to go <laughs> Uh, and we were walking around downtown Hammond, Louisiana, and we stumbled upon Courtyard Cafe, which we were going to go to anyways, but we were just walking around. We saw it, and we were like, oh, well, we gotta go in. And we soon found out that they uh, have crepes as well as coffee. So we got crepes and coffee. Uh, if you want to pan down, mine's done. I'm finished with mine. Mine is also <laughs> done. But I had the Strawberry Fields crepe because... Uh, Tangipahoa Parish is really known for its strawberries. It's like the strawberry strawberry capital of the world. So, when in Rome. Uh, and you had a more savory crepe, which mm -hmm. I considered it looks really, really good. Uh, it was it was really good. I got, for coffee, I got the Cafe LA, which came in this cute personalized mug, uh, which is really nice. <laughs> I, I always love a place that has, like, personal I don't want to say personalized because I mean yeah I am cute but uh, <laughs> you know the the individual mugs with individual touches uh, is, is a, it always makes for a good coffee shop experience uh, would you get Lindy I caramel macchiato mm. it, took, it took me a second it took me a second there is it good it was really good 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 yeah I just I if, if I can take a second about this Courtyard Cafe, uh, the like Spanish Mediterranean feel of where we are is so cool. Uh, it's this little tucked in courtyard uh, area with the cafe attached to it, wide open doors. There's a fountain behind me. Uh, it is the most relaxing thing I, I have ever seen. The, the most relaxing cafe I think I've ever been in, quite honestly. Um, and then they have apartments up at the top as well, which certainly if I lived here, I would consider living above the cafe, not only because I love coffee, but just because this is such a neat little um, 
area and such a cool part of downtown Hammond. I am blown away by, by where we are. So are the leaves, uh, apparently. Yeah, the leaves are <laughs> <laughs> falling from the from the, uh, the brick. Even if the coffee wasn't that good, which the coffee is good, um, they did a good job at the Cafe LA. Even if the coffee wasn't that good, it, I would still go here time and time and time again. I could not recommend this place for the scenery alone. Yeah. of Southeastern Louisiana University. It is the third largest public university in Louisiana with an enrollment of about 15,000 students. And uh, it is located here in Hammond, um, just about, about a five minute drive outside of downtown. Um, the university was founded in 1925 and uh, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's very quiet. We tried to get into the Union, couldn't get in. So we're just going to walk around campus a little bit. It's a beautiful day outside and uh, maybe see if we can get into some other buildings. One of the things that I also noticed was that like they didn't, no one in there was wearing masks other than us, but it still had a very friendly and welcoming atmosphere, which yeah, is I mean, odd. The, we've, you and I are both uh, big mask proponents, and it's always kind of a negative when you walk in and you don't see people wearing masks, especially the people serving you food or coffee. But uh, so I would typically give the, uh, the, the Courtyard Cafe a negative on that, but they were very friendly. Um, they were nice and it wasn't like we were uh, anything out of the ordinary, ordinary by wearing masks. And also it was, the doors were open to the cafe. There was a breeze coming through. It was connected to the outside. There was a lot of um, traffic going into the outdoor courtyard area. So that being said, I wouldn't say it was completely a negative. They were really nice people and we were sitting outside, so. Yeah, the uh, the Yellow Bird Cafe felt more, <laughs> felt very much more aggressive and, uh, what is the word? As soon as we walked into Yellow Bird Cafe, nobody was wearing a mask, servers or otherwise. Um, and every table was taken, it was super crowded. Uh, nobody was sitting six feet apart from anybody. It felt very hostile. Everything was indoors and it felt super hostile. Everybody, I didn't, I didn't want to want to say everybody was looking at us, but you kind of knew that we were the only people wearing masks and everybody was kind of, you could, you could feel uh, the discomfort in it, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. Yeah. standing in grass and we're in like downtown Ponchatoula. <laughs> um, but it's kind of weird just walking in the grass here. So Ponchatoula was a bust <laughs> for many reasons. Uh, first of all, we tried to go to Stowaway Coffee. And I was very excited about that one because uh, it looked pretty cool. But when we got to the door, uh, it said that they close at 2 and we were there at like 2.02. I walk in and the lady's like, oh, we're closed, I'm sorry. And I look at their, uh, you know, Apple Maps and Apple Maps said that they close at 6 on Sundays. If you have that wrong on Apple Maps or Google Maps or anything that people use to actually search your location and time, then that is a big old red X on my mark. So I would not recommend Stowaway Coffee until they get their times correct. Because basically that's the reason why we went to Ponchatoula in the first place. Um, aside from that, we tried to look for any other coffee place. There really aren't any downtown. Uh, the downtown area consists of one four-lane road that was just super crowded and noisy and loud and 
uh, they had a pet alligator that, that we wanted to take a look at or at least get some footage of but there were kids at, like all around it circling it and you know I'm not I, no offense I, against kids no offense or anything kids, but you know come on like take 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 a, a minute to step back and let other people see the weird pet alligator that you have the alligator was really fat and from what I could see, and there were strawberries everywhere. There were strawberries everywhere. Ponchatoula is known as the strawberry strawberry capital of the world. Um, and just generally, the Ponchatoula Hammond area is really big on strawberries. I That's why I had a strawberry crepe in Hammond, because I knew it would be fresh, and it was. But it's really, really good. Strawberries around here are just better because they're fresh and because they're just made better. Um, they're just built different. They're built different. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we are leaving Ponchatoula in spite uh, because nothing went right in that town, which is unfortunate. So because of that, we're now going to Starbucks. And on our trip back, we're going to be drinking Starbucks. Me. Not because we like Starbucks, more because we're just upset at the fact that we couldn't get local coffee. <laughs> we want our coffee and we're going to get it. We're going to get our coffee. Despite Starbucks. Even if it means going to Starbucks to get it. That's what we're doing. So, ignoring the utter disaster that was Ponchatoula and ignoring Starbucks, uh, all in all, Hammond was a very pleasant trip. Uh, I think you would agree. Oh yeah, it was amazing. I would go the, back there again. The Courtyard Cafe was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Downtown Hammond is wonderful. They really built it up. There's a lot of really neat buildings. It's really quiet, beautiful place to walk around. Ponchatoula just needs to catch up. Ponchatoula needs to catch up. Uh, stop with the four-lane traffic, cars speeding by. Stop it with the coffee shops that tell you they're open one time and then you go there and they're open another time. <laughs> you're still you're still on but that. We're ignoring Ponchatoula. We're ignoring that. We're throwing it out of our mind because Hammond was nice, Southeastern was nice. It's a beautiful day. Uh, we did get to experience local coffee, even if it was just, you know, one coffee shop. Uh, I'm gonna chalk this episode up to a win just because of how amazing Courtyard Cafe was in Hammond. I could not give a better recommendation uh, for that place than the one I'm giving now. You, If you're ever in the area, if you're ever passing through driving through Hammond, if you ever see it on the interstate driving through, you've got to make a stop at Courtyard Cafe. It's very Trust much worth me, it. It's absolutely worth it. It's the best thing you can do. Even if you don't want coffee, the crepes were amazing. The crepes, the, the crepes were the fantastic. The scenery. Yeah, it's just, you gotta go. You gotta go. So, that being said, all in all, giving it a positive rating. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of 64 Parishes of Coffee. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And if you like this video, then be sure to check out the rest of our videos on, uh, on YouTube. We also have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a Twitch. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Yeah! <laughs>